Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. Today we'll have our sixth lesson, sixth lesson in the series of ten on the topic of homonyms. What are homonyms? We have talked about it before many times. What are homonyms? Homonyms are two words that, even though they have different spellings, and different meanings, they happen to have the same pronunciation. Two words, even though they are spelled differently, they have different meanings, but for some strange and inexplicable reasons, uh, reason rather, are pronounced in the same way. And such pair, such a pair is said to be a pair of homonyms. Let's begin. Number one we have here, 61 is where we're going to start from. Number 61. Today is our lesson number 61 in the series of 10. The very first one we have is very simple, very straightforward. The word is, the, the pair is road as in a street. I travel on this road. And of course we have this road, R-O-D-E, which is the past tense. Past tense of ride. Don't take that particular road. Don't take that particular road. I rode my bicycle on that road. I rode my bicycle on that road. That road is very bumpy. Don't go that way. Do you understand? It won't, you won't have a smooth ride. How do you know I won't have a smooth ride? Because I rode my I rode on that road. I rode my bicycle on that road. Number 62. 62 is a bit tricky. It's going to take some time. Let's, think, let's start with something simple so that we can build from it. The word that we first have to learn is ascend. Ascend. It's a word. Ascend. What does it mean to ascend? Ascend means to go up. Ascend means to, to go up. To go up maybe in value, in position, whatever it might be, to ascend. It means to rise, to rise. It means to move up. Okay, pay attention. That's the word. That's the word. The noun of this thing, or we could, technically this should not be 62 here. Let's learn the noun of this word. The noun of ascent, the nouns of noun of ascent with the D. The noun of ascent with the D. Is ascent. Which is our word number 62. Ascent with the T. Ascent, which is the noun which is the act of going up, which is the, the act of going up, the act of going up. So we have that ascent, which is the act of going up, and then we have this ascent, A-S-S-E-N-T, which is also of course pronounced in the same way, which is why they call homonym, ascent. Uh, ascent, ascent, which is also a verb. Well, I shouldn't say which is also a verb. That was not a good thing to say. I shouldn't have said which is also a verb. I should have said that rather this is a verb, which is spelled with a T, ascent, is a verb, but this one spelled with a T happens to be a noun, noun of this word right here, ascend. You see, it gets a little complicated. So one more time, ascend, ascend with a D, is a verb which means to go up, to rise in value, to move up. The noun of this word is ascent, which is the act of going up. But this word is also pronounced ascent, which is a verb which simply means to agree. To agree. To agree. To Concur. To 
also agree or to concur with somebody if you are in agreement, if you agree to someone, if you agree with someone rather, uh, such a such a notion is called assent. I assented, I agreed to it, uh, I concurred. Assent with the a s s e n t a s s and a s c. They both pronounce the same way. Assent as in the act of going up and assent as in to agree. Down the road, I don't know why I don't have it on the same page here on the same day, would have made more sense. Uh, perhaps it didn't occur to me at that time, uh, but it comes to my mind right now, which I, which I covered later on in, in a different video. Down the road, maybe seventh or eighth, part number eight, we'll have another pair, which are the antonyms of these words. The antonym of ascent is descent. Descent is the act of going down, which comes from descent, descent with a D. Descent to go down, descent to, descent to, with a T, descent is the act of going down. To descent, as in D I S S E N T, descent is to disagree. So, descent and descent, the act of going up and to disagree, which, as I said before, as I said just now, we'll learn later on down the road in a different video. So one more time, ascent and ascent, descent and descent. Let's carry on then. Number 63. Number 63. I need the room. Number 63 and 64, they're quite straightforward, quite simple. 63. Now 63 is not technically, the, what, I, what I'm going to put on the blackboard will not strictly qualify as homonyms because homonyms have to be two words. There have to be words. This is what I'm going to put here is not a word. Those are two words here. The, and, and the two words are all ready. All ready as opposed to already. Of course, already, already. Let's learn the difference. When we say already, as in everyone, as in everyone. or everything is ready everyone or everything is ready all ready we are example we are all ready we are all ready means all of us are ready all of us are ready we are all ready. We are. We are all ready. I should. I should grab. I should buy a new red marker. I don't know why I keep picking it up. It's, it's atrocious. We are all ready, as opposed to this already, which is an adverb. Which is an adverb. Which means by this time. By this time. Already. I'm pretty uh, I, I sent you the book a couple of days ago. I sent you the book a couple of days ago. I'm sure by tomorrow you should have it. I'm sure by tomorrow you should have it. Oh, I, I already have it. I received it just this, just 10 minutes ago. I already have it by this time. By this time. Meet me at the mall. Meet me at the mall. Meet me at the mall in 10 minutes. I'm already here. Where are you? You told me to meet you at 10. It's already 10 o'clock. I'm already here. I am already here. Don't worry about meeting you in 10 minutes. You, you are the one who's running late. I am already here. Already? Already. Let's go to the next one. Number 64. Let's do number 64. Give me a second. And there's room number 64 on the top, so we have more room. All right. Again, speak, strictly speaking, it does not qualify as homonyms because these are two words. And 
all right. I should have done a better job than that. All right, as in, as in, okay. All right means everything is right. Everything is right. Everything is okay. I checked. I checked. Questions 1 to 20. I checked question number 1 to 20 and they are they are all they are all right they are all correct I checked them all I checked all 20 of them I checked all 20 of them and now I put away the red one and I'm looking for the red one and they are all they are all right all of them are right all of them are correct and all right as in how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Oh, I'm alright. I'm, I'm quite alright as a matter of fact. Thank you for asking. I'm quite alright. I am quite alright. Everything is alright. Everything is okay. So that's the tricky sentence. Everything is alright. Or everything is all right when you write it like this. Everything is all right, or everything is all right. These are two. These are two different sentences. They have two different meanings. When you say everything is all right. What you're saying is everything is correct. Everything is correct. Everything is what you're saying is everything is correct. We don't need this here. What you're saying here is that everything is correct. I checked all the question and then there I checked all the questions and they are all right. All of them are right. All of them are correct. I checked all the questions, they're all right. I checked all the questions, they are okay. Everything is alright. They are alright. I checked all 20 of the questions, they are alright. They are all okay. As opposed to all of them are okay. You see? This is all of them. All of them, all, all of them are okay. All of them are right. They are all okay. Let's carry on. Number 65. Number 65. 65 is a little tricky one. We're going to take our time. A lot. As in a lot of apples. A lot of apples. I ate a lot of apples. Which I should not have done which I should not have done because I don't have the room to eat all the apples. Let's put them here. I ate a lot of apple. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Just like here. They're pronounced in the exact same way. A lot. Except here. There are two different words. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot means to distribute. To distribute. To a portion. To a portion means to divide them into different portion. To assign. To allocate to allocate
for example, for example, we might say, for example, we might say, we will allocate, we will allocate, or if you like, we will allot, we will allot, in other words, we'll give ourselves three weeks to finish this job. We will allocate, we will allot, we will allot, we will allot three weeks to finish this job. We will give you three weeks, we will, we will give you three weeks, we will assign you three weeks. Make sure you get it done on time. You understand? Don't be tardy because we are only allotting three weeks. I know three weeks is not a lot, but that's all we're going to allot. Do you understand? Bye now.